Good morning, and welcome to our celebration of all saints. The readings are found on page 1209. Our tabernacle flowers are donated by Kent and Julie Warner in memory of Charles and Pat Guys. This mass is being offered for Phil Gottschalk. Our opening song is number 539, Sing With All the Saints, number 539, Please Stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in the word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads <clears throat> of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the children of Israel. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, 
who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and understanding, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. 
Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today we celebrate the solemnity of All Saints Day. Heaven is populated with uncanonized holy men and women known to God alone. For nearly 300 years after its foundation, the church suffered persecution after persecution. Many Christians chose death rather than renounce their faith. These were called martyrs. They declared Christ to be God and the savior of everyone. And this they did, not just by word of mouth, 
but by laying down their lives. Christians all over started venerating these martyrs. They flocked to their tombs to pray homage to them, to pay homage to them, convinced that they had already attained eternal life in heaven. People prayed to them to intercede with God for their brothers and sisters still on the earth. But gradually the church started venerating not only those Christians who had shed their blood for Christ, but also others who, while living on this earth, had been outstanding examples of Christian life, even though they had died a natural death. They were called saints, that is, people who served God most faithfully while living on earth, and whom God rewarded with the joy of heaven at their death. Famous martyrs and saints were venerated in the church on various dates, some throughout the world, and some only in local churches. But the number of saints, greatly increasing as years passed, passed by, it became impossible to assign a date to each of them. Again, the church was well aware that there had been millions of Christians, unknown to mankind, but well known to God, who, having lived in the world subject as we are to temptation and to sin, ended up their lives in God's friendship and are now in heaven. These are real saints, cleansed of all stain, and share God's life and joy forever in the heaven. The number of these saints goes on increasing day after day. This led the church to establish a feast in their honor. In this feast, we praise God for having accomplished his salvation in so many people. It was thus that the feast of all saints began to be celebrated, and the date chosen was November 1st, that is today. The Holy Spirit moved the church to establish this feast for a double purpose. To praise God for having completed his salvation in so many of our Christian brothers and sisters throughout the world, and to encourage those still living on earth to persevere faithful to Christ in spite of human weakness, in spite of temptation and persecution. Some of those whose feast we celebrate today were known to us, lived in our midst, failed at times in their Christian life, just as we do, but helped by the Holy Spirit, they completed their Christian life successfully. Their message from heaven today is, do not lose courage. Remember that we are, that we were just what you are, weak, fragile, and sinful people. Yet we were saved by God's power and love. Keep up the struggle. We are here to lend you a helping hand with our prayer to God. There is a fabulous reward ready for you to hear in heaven. And this is the message of all the saints from heaven for all of us today here. And every Christian is a saint in the making. We feel like objecting the statement. How can a sinful person like me become a saint? The answer is not only we can, but we all must. God put us in this world just for this, that we may become saints so as to get ready to share in his very life and joy in heaven. In his letters, St. Paul does not hesitate to call his Christians saints. I quote from his letters. 
We read in the letter of St. Paul to Romans chapter 1, verse 1 and 7. From Paul, to you all who are God's beloved in Rome, called to be saints. And again, in his letter to, first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, he wrote, I, Paul, send greetings to the church in Corinth, to the holy people of Jesus Christ, called to take their place among all the saints everywhere. And again, in his second letter to Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 12, he wrote, All the saints send you greetings. Phrases like these are repeated time and again in the letters of St. Paul. It was not that Paul was unaware of the weaknesses of his Christians, yet the Spirit moved him to call them saints in spite of their failures. So, dear brothers and sisters, the feast of today is meant to provide us with encouragement. Soon, and very soon, we are going to be what our brothers and sisters in heaven already are, people already saved, real saints, with God's treasure at our disposal already here on earth, and with such a great reward awaiting us in heaven, we Christians have every reason to go through life with joy and with determination. The saints in heaven keep on urging us to be faithful to Christ. We conclude our reflection with a small prayer. All holy men and women, so close to us yet still, so far, gather our prayers to yourselves and intercede in heaven on our behalf. May our holy desires be accomplished through that chorus of prayers you constantly present to the Father, surrounded by all his angels in heaven. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father the Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth, of all, all things visible and invisible. invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, true God to not made, consubstantial with the Father. As we honor all the saints in heaven, we bring our prayers to our Almighty Father. May we open our hearts to accept His will and in our lives. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the pilgrim church on earth, may God help us grow in holiness as we endeavor to become saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for elected officials and those in authority. May the Lord guide them in governing with integrity, with special attention toward the powerless and the vulnerable. 
Let us pray to the Lord. For those who lack faith and who are seeking, may God open their hearts to the saving love of his Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For this gathering of the faithful, may Jesus' love empower us in offering strength and courage to one another in living as true disciples of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially Phil Gottschalk, for whom we offer this Mass, may God reward their faith as they worship him in joy with all the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those petitions and yearnings that we carry in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Let us pray. Heavenly Father, <coughs> listen to our prayers and fill our hearts with your love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our song for the preparation of gifts is number 683, Be Not Afraid, number 683. <laughs> Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and for the loss of the church. 
May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that, just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the Church, through whom you give us, in our frailty, both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this 
in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Baptist, our patron, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Paul our Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, 
but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ keep me safe. Our communion song is number 859, God of Day and God of Darkness, number 859.
Saint Michael the Archangel. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that, coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the glory and joy of all the saints, who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with unending blessings. Amen. Amen. Freed through their intercession from present ills, and formed by the example of their holy way of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. Amen. So that, together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is number 571, Christ the King, number 571.